Modern Dude Chat is brought to you by Beard Supply. Beardsupply.com. All natural beard care grooming products for your beard. Beard care for wildlife. Hey guys, welcome to the Modern Dude Chat Podcast. We're your hosts, Cody and Chuck. It's almost fall and it's almost football time. On this episode of Modern Dude Chat, we got whiskey and music. Got a little dad story, a little circus, a little sleepover. Uh, we have a lot of technical difficulties. We we're trying to make it through <laughs> it. It was it, it it was crazy. It was a crazy night uh, dealing with all that. Uh, then we got some weird news. We got our first. I think we need to bring in the space force. LeBron does something stupid. No shocker. And then we're getting ready for the NFL. So we got predictions, picks, um, a little little some contract updates, and a little bit of everything. So we're getting hyped for the NFL. We got a bunch of different things for you this week, and uh, here we are. Here we are again. Anything else? What else? <laughs> nope. Football. That's it. Football. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get it. Gentlemen, for the two in attendance <laughs> and the millions listening around the world, let's get ready for football. Hey. <laughs> Cody, let's do it, dude. This is it. This is the week, man. Let's go, let's go. Ah, I'm all jacked up, and we. <laughs> I mean, it's only Tuesday night, but uh, by the two time, days away. By the time this releases, I will have my first injection of pure <laughs> NFL into my veins uh, with the Bears and Packers. And a good one, too. Yeah, I was about to say. And a good one. You no- Normally, they do like the, the Super Bowl champ gets the host the home game. Yeah. But because yeah. this is the 100th season of the NFL, they're doing like a traditional matchup on opening night. So that's why you get Bears Packers. The Pats play Sunday night instead. Ah. So anyway, we'll get to sports later. we we got see. plenty of football to go. Uh, this, this is going to be, you know, we, we get hyped for the NFL. We have a ton of NFL sports stuff at the end as always. But in the meantime, until we get there, we got some fun stuff, some different stuff. Uh, a, per, lot of, a lot we're cramming in here. Per usual. I mean, just killing it, you know, per usual. Absolutely. Always. 100%. So, uh, man, dude, I'm I'm ready to just dive in, dude. You ready? You said it's, Let's you, do this. You said it's been one of those days, and, uh, yeah, I'm just ready for I'm, I'm ready All for right. your, your thing. All right, so you ready? Guess what I brought? It's been that kind of a week no, already. Man, dude, every time you say that. It's been that kind of a week Every already. time you say that, <laughs> it means you are bringing whiskey. That's correct. Or bourbon, something along those lines. That is correct, sir. I have oh. brought us whiskey. Brought myself some whiskey. I decided to share it with you, so you're welcome, Chuck. You, you are so kind. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says about you. Because... Not many people, you know, I don't think, you know, I'm, I'm selfish with my whiskey, especially a good whiskey. Well, I like to drink it all. That bottle looks like something you should mm-hmm. be selfish with. I <laughs> know, right? Because right. it's, it's fancy. It's a <laughs> fancy looking bottle. All right. So you ready? I, I'm ready, dude. Let's Hit me in. with it. Kay. I'm as ready as I'm going to get. I'll put I it that brought way. Basil Hayden's Caribbean Reserve Rye. Have you ever had Basil Hayden's? Negative. No. Negative? Oof. Get ready. That's the good stuff. I've never had this version. This is a rum finished Basil Hayden's Caribbean Reserve Rye. Now, now you've already piqued my interest. I am intrigued. Did you, that you, did that word rum? Yes. Pique your interest? Absolutely. That's I like how I you're starting. That's why to, I got it, bro. You're starting to bring stuff up here, but you uh-huh. all, you you like to hit me with a little bit of that I'm, stuff. I do like. I'm a good friend. That's how you bait me. That's, what's That's up. how you get me sucked in <laughs> to the. I don't even know what to call. Do you know it. what baited me? Limited release rum finished reserve rye. That's what bait, baited dude. Me. It, you you will buy, you will bite down on that hook if it says limited release and <laughs> or reserve. 
That's right. You're that's, that's you. That's right. That's yep. you're in on it because it's it's limited. You gotta you gotta get on that. I mean, yeah, that's not a promotion. you know what it is. That's it's not freaking, a promotional tactic at all. at all. They got me every single time. All right, so real quick, this is a Kentucky straight rye whiskey, blended with Canadian rye whiskey, finished with rum. Like I said, this is a limited release. Basil Hayden's is the brand. Very good, solid whiskey. I've had multiple versions. Um, Let's see here. It is inspired by the pioneering spirit of Basil Hayden's bourbon. We finished this intriguing blend of rye whiskeys with a touch of rum Balancing our signature rye spice with a subtle Caribbean sweetness. 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. Get ready, son. Oh, man. You ready? Yeah. I mean, again, as ready as I'm going to get. This stuff looks pretty good. It's got like a really, really nice amber color. You see that, Chuck? That is a very nice, dark looking rye whiskey. It always in in like <sighs> if you put it in a glass on ice yeah. in the bottle, whiskey always looks good, yeah. refreshing. Look I just the, look at the color on that though. That I is just beautiful. I just know what that 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 pretty view is hiding beneath the surface. <laughs> Greatness. And that's, that's what that's what concerns me. Inner right, inner, I'm, I'm inner beauty. Test. Is it hiding inner beauty? All right, here we go. I mean, some... Oh. Smell it. Oh, dude, I did. Dude, smell it. Can you smell the rum? I did. I just got a mouthful. Oh, that's great. A mouthful of flavor, like the... I, I smell... What do we call it? Smelling through my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> that's what we talked about? Oh, dude. This is going to be fantastic. No, this is going to be a bad. Hey, cheers to football. Here's to football. You're welcome. Cheers to the rest of the week. Let's kill it, Chuck. Bottoms up. I'm not shooting this, by the way. It's a sipper. That's pretty smooth. You can't lie. That's pretty smooth. It burns. It burns. But it's good. It burns, <clears throat> but you, it does not. That is a smooth whiskey. I'm, I'm still you holding You can't it. deny that. No, well, that's because I don't want to. I'm, I'm. That's good. It 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 took me off guard because so I kept it in my mouth a little bit, swirled it around, you know, switched it a little bit, mm. and took it down. It burned, it mm. hurt, mm. but it does. It's not like I don't want to throw up or nothing. Like I'm, <laughs> right, I'm, I'm right. like good with it. Yeah. I you guys got to try. This. I wouldn't get it like a glass and like drink a whole bunch, but like there's a little bit left in my cup. I will finish drinking yeah, this. Right on. So that's good stuff. Yeah. For a whiskey, I like that. I like that. I'll give it a. Hey, yeah, that's right. Score it, Chuck. Mm. For a whiskey. For a whiskey. For a whiskey. For a whiskey. And consider the fact that you got a lot of flavors in this one, versus compared to a lot of the whiskeys that you've had. How would you? I mean, you got to. Yeah, gotta this, rate this, this one. Fair. You got to rate it up there. I, I know. Think. I know, and I'm not doing decimals, so I only got so much to play with. You know what? We'll do half decimals. We'll do point okay. fives only. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with. Actually, you know what? For whiskey, I'll go seven. Ooh. I would be good with a seven, seven five. Seven no, five? I want a seven five on okay. this one. That's okay. what I'm gonna go with. Is this? If I have to set the bar with one, that's what we're gonna set the bar with. Is this I like one? It. This one right here. It's a good bar to set. Seven five. I can live with that. Cool. I think Basil Hayden's could live with that too. Yeah, well, I mean they should be because I'm I, again because we're gonna tag you in it. There's <laughs> yeah, we're gonna tag you, uh, and I'm gonna put my name on it <laughs> yeah. as usual. So uh, yeah, no, I, like I said, there's a little bit more left in my glass, and I'm gonna drink it. It's pretty smooth though, right? It's kind of velvety when it hits the throat, it goes down really nice and smooth. That second, picking up a lot of flavors now. No, that's no. What that you second? As I was drinking it. What you said is accurate. Velvety. Like in my mouth, it burns. Yeah. But when I drink it, like it goes down, uh-huh. it is smooth. Yeah. And actually, oh, man, it was even stuff. smoother and better yes. on my second drink. Yes. So well done. I got the kick in the mouth. Does it change of, your score? Out of the way. Dude, I'm going to hold 7.5. Okay. I'm okay. going to keep it That's there. Solid. I'm not going to change it. Solid. That's the bar. But no, what I'm saying is the second drink, it it the burns already... 
Um, I already went lived through it, so it's not near as bad, and it still go, it goes down smoother. It's better. The more you drink it, the better. <clears throat> yes, that's my. That's also that's my dangerous. Opinion. <laughs> that is dangerous because, like, for real, not not even. I don't know if like my mouth is now numb, so I can drink more. Maybe that's how whiskey works. But uh, but yeah, no, that's solid. That's a good whiskey. That is really good. That mm. is, I mean, that is legit. Probably the best thing <clears throat> you've brought to me. Whiskey Hell yeah. Class. I Hell say. yeah! And maybe it's because there's go. maybe it's because there's rum in there. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it is. I was thinking about you, Chuck. Oh man, you're so thoughtful and kind. I, I don't, I don't I care know. what they say about you. I know. But People uh, say a lot. All right, hit me with the Let's second part of this thing. Okay, real quick. We've mentioned this guy. I've mentioned this guy once upon a time. Uh, and the only reason I'm going to mention it this week is because he releases his album. And we're he, going he, to his he, show. He is releasing an album, or yep. he just did? We're actually going to his album release show in Dallas. Oh, you fancy. Friday night. And I'm talking about Mr. Paul Coffin. You know who I'm talking about, right? Remember Mr. Paul Coffin? Maybe. <laughs> is he... Is, did he... Kind of sounds like Elvis and... Yes, okay. We talked about him recently. Uh, oh, oh, what's his name? Johnny Cash. Okay. I'm yep. with you. Yep. Yep. It took yeah, me yeah, a yeah. second because I've probably only heard the name that one time you told yep. me about him. He's, he's up there with like the Sturgills. Uh, I say that. Sturgill's great. Paul Cawthon is great. But I feel like Paul Cawthon is climbing the ladder, if you know what I mean. And uh, this album, I think, is going to be awesome. I can't wait for it to release. There's a, there's a few songs out now. <clears throat> that he's already done like an early release on a uh, few uh, here. Holy ghost fire prayed for rain. And uh, there's another song out there. Oh, uh, country dancing. Really good. Uh, anyways, we're going to the album release show Friday night. Oh, can't wait. It's going to be a blast. I think it's sold out in a small venue in Dallas. <clears throat> so it's going to be like real personable, you know, Real close. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I'm excited about it. Everybody go listen to it. It releases on Friday. And we're actually going to see the live show. So, can't wait. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. Man, we're, audio is weird. I know, right? I got you lined up right in your mouth, though. So, don't. Okay. I'm not moving. Don't do anything. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. Except spitting greatness okay. over here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Mr. Paul Coffin. Fresh track, fresh album coming out, rolling out Friday. Man, dude. And we're he, going to the show. He Can't must, wait. He must be special. You're giving him a solo fresh yeah, man, track. Like, it. It's all to himself. Uh, I like Paul Coffin. All right. And nice. he's he's a Texas homeboy. He's from East Texas. Okay. Uh, nice. Up Tyler area, I believe. So, Ooh, that, you yes, know sir. what? Tyler area puts out some good stuff. Cause yes, sir. Because uh, one of my personal favorites, Whiskey Myers, is uh, from yes, that sir. area as well. So, yes, sir. Uh, they do good work out there. Heck yeah. Um, okay, so so you got that coming up this weekend. I do. This past weekend, Labor Day weekend, we didn't do nothing crazy for Labor Day before we get off on that. Did you do anything? Uh, No, I had another live draft. Went really well. Chuck? By the way, I listened to your bonus episode on our podcast channel. Uh, Chuck did a solo bonus fantasy football live draft episode where he kind of sprinkled in a little, you know, little knowledge, some tips, and did a live draft. Anyways, I literally listened to your podcast, that bonus episode, and took notes. And I happened to do really well. I was pick 11 out of 12. In our live draft, which a twelve-team draft, a twelve-team league is hard anyway. Yeah, and I got freaking eleven. And another thing, you, we we drew numbers right when everybody got there. We drew numbers out of a hat, so you didn't know what you were picking. Going and that into sucks. It. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. When I picked eleven, it really sucked. Yeah, but dude, you told me I don't want to get too much into it. But you told me your lineup, and I was like, dude, yeah. for eleven, I know, dude, I did solid for picking eleven in a twelve-team uh, league. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty nuts. I did good, man. I was I was proud of myself. And I'm gonna lie, some of those players I, I wrote down and you had some sleepers and some studs and I wrote those guys down and I ended up picking them up. Quite a few of them. 
and it was because of your podcast. So thank you, Chuck, well, hope, for putting that out to hope, the world. Because <laughs> I did pretty good. Hopefully, it works out for you. Uh, it's one of those things like I feel like I know how to bake the cake. It's just when it gets in the oven and gets going. <laughs> I did think about that too. I was like, shit, oh, shit tends to I'm happen. Trusting Chuck a lot here today. Yeah, and he has a history of just shit in the bed. So <laughs> yeah, it's uh, dude, it's, but it's not like. I I don't know. It, I feel like it's not like I pick bad. It's that I'm the guy that picks David Johnson when he breaks his leg in the <laughs> first game of the year. Like right. I'm that guy. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, or pick Zeke and yeah, or you know, it sounds yeah. like that's happening now. But I, yeah, that was up in the air for a while. Um, yeah. So any so anyway, we didn't do anything. I actually completely. I've been so busy at work and with everything going on, I completely forgot that I got the day off on Monday to like Friday <laughs> oh, yeah. afternoon. <laughs> so we didn't plan anything. We just took it easy. But we. So my wife works at this office closer to Dallas, and someone. So there was a circus in town, and they brought. Okay. Uh, they brought tickets, and basically it was you buy an adult ticket, you get take your kid for free yeah we actually got there on on it early enough that they had the first hundred adult tickets sold you got 50 percent off and you get to bring your kid for free so we got out like 25 bucks taking uh so we needed so Shoot. and kids under two were free so we had an, we essentially had an extra kid ticket so we invited um our best friends they have a little girl that was uh two weeks born two weeks before my my three-year-old mm-hmm so we were like, oh, we'll, we'll invite her. And uh, so she, of course, wanted to go to the circus. But we wanted – her parents had a wedding to go to, and we wanted to get her a sleepover. The kicker is I've been trying to get this girl to have a sleepover with us. Yeah. She could talk. And she always <laughs> tells us no. She always, want, at the, she always wants to go home at the end of the night, which is fine. I said, sooner or later, you're going to stay with us. And, and she's very, very a homebody. I think she's only stayed with one grandma besides her parents <clears throat> ever. I, so, can res- I can respect that. So, and she's three and a half. She'll be four in November, just okay. like my daughter. Okay. So, um, it, it was a big deal. And she had agreed, she agreed to stay the night. So we kind of hyped it up yeah. and, uh, we've been hyping it up. So anyway, first off we go. Was your girl super excited? Oh yeah. See, my daughter is a social butterfly and she <laughs> has no problem sleeping or staying anywhere. <laughs> Probably more often than not, she'd rather stay somewhere else than our house, <laughs> uh, which is fine. I love that she's comfortable like that. But yeah. Yeah. It does pose problems. She's just at people's house like, hey, can I stay the night tonight? It's like, <laughs> yeah. it don't work that way. <laughs> Sounds like my kids. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, hey, don't be going up there asking to spend the night. Oh, man. So <laughs> so we were like, all right, uh, our name's Emery. Emery's going to stay over. Let's, you know, we're going to try to make this fun and try to avoid a meltdown. Yeah. And uh, and we had her grandma on standby. If anything happened, we could take her over there. Anyway, we go, we go to Dallas. We go to Circus. First off, we think we're going to get off easy. 25 bucks. Mm-hmm. We walk into the circus and it is a racket if I've ever seen one. <laughs> so, like, how much did you spend it, on popcorn? It, it's at a convention center. <laughs> and so, like, the four of the convention centers, like, got the rings yeah. and got the setup. But they also, oh, to the yeah. side, they set up before, they set up, um, like, bounce houses and face painting and animals. So, mm-hmm. um, I they, had the baby. My, my wife took the two older girls down there. And let first, me guess, each of those cost something. Absolutely, <laughs> like it's advertised as like the kid play zone, Ugh. but the kid play zone costs money for everything you do down Don't there. Don't you hate that? And so she comes back up and says, "I need the card. Everything costs money down there." I was like, "All right, cool. You know, just this is you know, no cash. Just hand me the plastic. Yeah, it's about to get real. Exactly. So, <laughs> so she gets down there and she comes back and she says, "You're not gonna like what happened down there." And I was oh, like, no. "Um." <laughs> Okay, she goes, well, she, actually, she was down and she called me. She said, so there was a camel to ride yeah. and an elephant. <clears throat> the elephant freaked them out. It was too big for them. That They thought it was cool to see the elephant, yeah. but they wanted no part of riding it. <laughs> right. So they wanted to ride the camel, Okay, uh, but they wanted to get their face painted also. So they're, so she calls me and says, yeah, so face painting's 30 bucks for them, <sighs> and riding a camel's like... Was that each or like... Total. Total. Okay. And riding a camel's like... 35 total for him. Dang. And I said, well, between the two, I guess, get them on the camel because we can get the face painting. She goes, well, they're doing the face painting now. I just didn't know if you wanted to let them do the camel. I was like, well, you're already down there, so might as well. Whatever. Here we go. So we get that done. And then 
of course, you know, I already told them we can get light up stuff, you know, the light mm-hmm. up swords and oh, twirlers yeah. and all that. So got to. We finally talked them out of the kid zone <laughs> because my daughter's a horse f- fanatic, like love, and they had mini ponies. Yeah, down yeah, there, so we had yeah. to avoid the mini pony rides. <laughs> so I said, let's go up and get snacks. Right, we go up. Of course, we walk by the light up toys. And the way they do it is how, you know, carnies and circus mm-hmm. people do it. They basically let them pick one, hand it to them, and then turn to me for cash. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> There's another 30 bucks. So uh, then, we go, then we go to get snacks. And apparently the circus is like Costco. They only sell things in bulk. <laughs> so I told them we're getting popcorn and cotton oh, candy. Man. And the popcorn bucket is bigger than any bucket I've ever seen, even at a movie theater. <laughs> right. It's $15, by the way. Uh, do you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing like rookie mistakes. And then, that's what I'm hearing. And right then the now. bag of cotton candy is like four <laughs> foot tall. And that's the only size they have. And it's $12. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, you know, oh, I get to drink some water. So, anyway, <laughs> this $25 ticket to the that circus. That water probably cost $4, ca- didn't it? Turned into about a, a $200 trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I learned my lesson on those circuses, man. Yeah, well, I, dude, I haven't, I don't think I've been to one since I was a kid, even if I did go to one. If yeah. I did go to one as a kid, it's a vague, you know, memory. And so we, we've always talked about it and it just never came around, you know, like with the animal treatment, and all that, they kind yeah. of did away with circuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we saw this <clears> one and we thought we got a good deal. We thought we got a good <laughs> deal and we went there. They and, like dude, to dip into them pockets. And of course the lights go down, the show comes on and they, they loved it. They yeah. had a blast. Yeah. Um, Is it a good show? For kids, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it did trip me out, though. So, I mean, they would trot out the camels and the horses and mm-hmm. do little acts. And we were sitting there like, mm, okay. Well, we thought it was the finale. Mm-hmm. They roll this big metal ball, and it's the one where you see people riding dirt bikes in. You've seen those before where they like yeah. Oh, yeah. zoom around the sides and upside yeah, down and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So they put There's three, like two of them in there at they once. They put three in there. Oh, so I'm like, oh man, this is nuts. <laughs> and then you know, they're going, doing their thing, and they stop, and all of a sudden a fourth one comes out. Oh man. So then they start rolling four dirt bikes. Like, I, at this point, <laughs> somebody's I'm, gonna die. I'm amazed and I'm like, <laughs> this is not necessarily like twenty five dollars plus two hundred well spent. The, yeah, the expensive <laughs> circus. So I'm like, man, this is super sketch. And then I'm like, this is crazy. Like, I'm hooked now. Like, I'm all in on the circus with the dirt box and the steel cage of death. <laughs> and then they roll out a fifth dirt box. So at what? one point, they're like no way. three going diagonal circles and two going around. Like, it was insane. That and is was, impressive. And I was like standing up like, <laughs> this. And, Couldn't and, uh, handle it. No, like, I didn't know what I was going to, what was going to happen. Like, I didn't understand how it was working. I didn't understand how they could do it. I That's didn't think funny. they could fit three in there, which was five. So anyway, they <laughs> they cut down, and we're like, oh, that was great. And they're like, all right, intermission. <laughs> so we're like, what the? F- okay. Go spend more money. And then, no, so here's what happened. So I, I, before the show started, they pulled all the animals, deflated all the bouncy things, put everything up. So intermission... They roll all that stuff back out. They trot all the animals back out to ride and homies. <laughs> and then we went, we did it. We absolutely did it 100%. Yeah. No, honey, it's over. The circus is done. <laughs> so you did that. We packed up and we went home <laughs> at intermission because there was no way oh, we were going to get out of a, a, another intermission <laughs> without spending yeah. another $100. Right. Right. And I didn't know what else a circus entailed. Did but you get to at least see like some trapeze art? My favorite. They had like the spinny thing where it's like a, it it looks. I don't know how to explain it. There's like a ring, like mm-hmm. a circle on one. Oh, two, yeah, yeah, two yeah. guys are weighted and they bounce around on it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that was pretty cool. And then they had a guy that stacked up chairs, so he stood on like balance on like oh, ten wow. chairs and stuff. I mean, nice. there's some okay stuff. A lot of the, like America's Got Talent stuff, <laughs> yeah. stuff, which is okay. Yeah. Um. And anyway, anyway, we left and, Dang. um, but dude, the girls loved it, and so Emery, she's she that her and she's. She's usually really quiet, and her and my daughter just motor mouth in the truck, yeah. in the circus. We get home. You took them in that brand-new truck? Absolutely. There did. you go, Chuck. It's there got the go. most room. <laughs> we could fit all three kids in the back. Nice. And uh, and so we get home, and we feed them, and um, they're playing and stuff. Then the moment of truth's coming. Uh-oh. It's bedtime. Now, every time she comes over to play, they always take a bath together, so mm-hmm. we let them take a bath. 
And usually she goes home with her parents. Yeah. But they always like, they, since they were babies, they like taking baths. So that's a yeah. thing we yeah, do yeah, anyway. Yeah. So we did that to keep our routine. And then we got to, they got to watch a movie before we got in bed. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. And then reality Then hit. the moment of truth comes. <laughs> they We get them. Her parents we, aren't around. We even get, <laughs> we get them in bed together. Yeah. We know they're going to sleep. And so we already called FaceTime her dad once. Okay. Yeah. And he said, he said uh, they were going to talk again or whatever. So bless her little heart. She's laying down in the bed. We're getting ready to turn the lights out. And she looks up at me and she goes, can, can I call my daddy one more time? But it's like. In that tone of voice, like she's using everything in her three yeah, and a half year old body, hold it together, to hold everything back, and ask me if she can call oh, her daddy. Man. There's like tears in her eyes, but she will not <laughs> let them fall. And it's like a little shaky voice, like, "Can I call my daddy?" She one can't more time? believe she's been left at your and, house. And, yeah, and, and I'm like, "Of course, we said we could." And then we we call, we talk to her. You know, she calls her dad, and we Facetime, and. Everything's good, and then she kind of loses it. And, but she try, she was trying so hard, she yeah. loses it. And then he gets off the phone, and she's like, please, no, don't say bye. No. <laughs> like, it was heartbreaking. Oh, no. And, but I was like, no, we're going to make through this. You know, we, we can do this. So <laughs> the phone call, little kids talk. They said they were going to giggle and tell jokes yeah, all yeah, night and yeah. not sleep. You know? yeah. So we did that. We we got her calm down. I said, right, do you want me or my wife, Rebecca, do you want me or, mm-hmm. or when she calls her back back? Do you want me or Beck back to lay back here with y'all? Yes. Lights out <laughs> in like five minutes. Nice. Both of them. Nice. And uh, technical difficulties. Is it lagging? Yeah. But That's this what is, mine this, is doing This isn't an internet thing, so hmm. that's what's really weird. Got hit with an EMP. Government's after us. That's weird. Okay. All right. So b- before I go any further in the story, <sighs> PSA, if your computer gives you a warning <laughs> that you should do something, don't just click no or close out. Because it did, when I first pulled up to get this thing going, it, it warned me about something, and I didn't even read it. And pretty much we just had the computer completely crash on it. We've been working on it for about an hour, hour and a half to get it back up. Finally back up. If you can see my face, I'm staring. I have a dead stare at the wall right I was, now. I was <laughs> at my lowest point. I thought we were going to close it down. So hey, uh, hey, we made up. We started watching Hard Knocks. We did. We, did. we started watching <laughs> YouTube and, and Hard Knocks while I was playing on the computer. And we passed the time wasn't well. wasn't playing, but, uh, we but anyway. The time well. And let, with the whiskey. Let's, yeah, I've had, I have, <laughs> as legit have been drinking more of this whiskey, and it's delicious. Um, just listen to your computer if it tells you a warning of some sort. Like, mine said re- you need to restart your computer. I didn't listen, and it crashed. I could have so, told you that, Chuck. Anyways. Um, <laughs> It's all good, man. All right, reset. So, and apologize for any cuts or dropped audio in the previous few minutes because it got crazy <clears throat> up in here. Uh, I think we got most of it back, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, so so the girls go lights out. Like, they and they sleep through the night. They even sleep in. And nice. I wish, so when we, me and my wife, we were in bed, and we saw them wake up on a monitor, and we were like, hey, girls, y'all come in here. I wish I would have had a video ready when that little girl came in our room she had the purest face of joy and <laughs> pride like she was grinning ear to ear like she did it like huge accomplishment <laughs> she stayed the night Aww. she didn't have to go anywhere and she was pumped and then we we went to took her to the donut store with her we left pjs on we just hopped in the car and went up there and dude she was so pumped and then she's she uh she was so happy. She was ready to call her mom and dad and tell her. And we high-fived and hooped and hollered. And, <laughs> dude, that was like a hit. Because me and her dad were texting, you know, after the call. Because he saw she was getting upset. And he's like, dude, I'm sorry. You know, yeah. whatever. You know, call grandma if you need to. And I was like, dude, we got this. We're, we're He's like, this is a big moment for her. And we just want her to, you know, get through it. And I was like, dude, we got you. We're, we're not going to let her go to bed upset or, you know. We want her to get over this hump too. So uh, anyway, I think she did. She was pumped the next day, and that's huge. Uh, that's just a long story of just you know a, watching a, being a part of a little kid just going over like a huge hurdle for her because she's yeah. not. Like I said, I've been trying to get this girl to spend the night 
for two <laughs> years, and she always tells me no, and I'm just like, okay, you know, one day you will. And then she's getting ready to leave when she got picked up, and she's like, I said, oh, are you going to come back and stay? And she told me no. <laughs> <laughs> but she's but she wants London to come stay at her house. She's all about that. That's awesome. She just doesn't want to. Uh, she doesn't want to. <laughs> doesn't want to stay. <laughs> uh, but she did do it, and uh, that was awesome. So they're I don't pretty, know. They're pretty young, though, right? Like, uh, yeah, they're th- they turned four in November. Okay, so, so that's 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 Olive. That's that's my daughter. She's she's only three right now, and I couldn't imagine she she wouldn't do well either. She would not do well at some ran not random, but like. Like a friend's first sleepover, I think she would have a tough time. She's definitely that type. Yeah, that no, I'd see, and like she our she wouldn't have it. Our <laughs> kids have never been that way, and, and I mean, we have so many grandparents and our aunt. Like she's staying somewhere different. It seems like all the time. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's nothing for her. But but the, yeah, anyway, that was so. That was what we did. We had a huge like milestone for one of my kids' friends. So. And we got nice. to be there and, and do it. So that was pretty awesome. <laughs> but that's just, I mean, just stuff you go through. Yeah. I guess different kids are different, different personalities yeah, and stuff. My, but. my kiddos are all in that now, dude. Uh, except for the youngest. I mean, even my six year old, she's about to be seven. Actually, this week, she's been doing, she's been doing sleepovers all summer long with her friends, like her dance friends. And then the 10 year old, she's been doing, Tons, tons of sleepovers, and uh, yeah. So <laughs> I'm trying to get Cody sit up right on his micro. He keeps sitting down. You need to stay still, man. There you okay. go. There you go. It. I found okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Oh, um, this has been a shit show from beginning <laughs> to end for us, and we apologize. But uh, hey, this is what happens man. when you when you're starting from the bottom. Hey, you know what? Trying to figure let's, it out. You know what? Let, let's let's be transparent. Transparent here. Talk. Okay. We we bought a. <laughs> let, no, let's tell them. Let's tell. Okay. Them. We bought a what is that? A, a switchboard down there? What do you what do you call that? Yeah. Thing? No, I got a soundboard. Soundboard. Okay. We got that on the cheap. All right. We're we're By not cheap. Out here. Man, I I bought it on eBay. Yeah. And and Used. for and it was for cheap. You know, for a reason. It's like There's, a it's like a three hundred dollar yeah. soundboard, and I got solid. it for seventy five dollars off solid. eBay. That's a solid. That's I, a solid win. Chuck. A band actually in Denton, Texas, used it. So, really? Okay. Uh, I bought it off a guy in Denton. So. But Anyways. there's a few little glitches, right? Uh, one, it came with no manual, so we had to figure <laughs> okay. it all out ourselves. Yeah. And uh, two, yes, the buttons and wires get. I don't. I still haven't figured out if our wires are just cheap. Yeah. Or if there's glitches in the board, I'm going with glitches I think it's in the board. The board, yeah. Because we set up That's our sound every time we come out, and it's always different. We yeah. always have to tweak it. So, so and, and we the, try to make the best audio we with can. With that out said, of it. Chuck, but with that said, what what we're hoping to move towards though is if you people out there, whoever's listening and listening on a regular basis, at some point we hope to get some support for this podcast. If you enjoy listening to us and you want to support the podcast, let us know. We kind of want to gauge that, see where people are. Do you like listening to a free podcast or would you be willing to donate like a dollar or five dollars a month to help the Modern Dude Chat build the podcast build and we can use that towards equipment you know better equipment yada 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 anyways that's what we're working we got we got things planned we got things we got ideas we want to get there it's just you know we we, we're operating on a slim to none budget yeah yeah, we we pretty much burned all our budget we got family equipment and getting here so uh, kids to feed we're we're growing so uh yeah anyway little transparency there. so yeah and today's probably been the by since we started, besides the first couple episodes when we were figuring things out, today has been the worst <laughs> as far as technical. Yeah, lift, lift us up, you know? Technical Give shit. Give us a little pat on the back. So, uh, a little, little bit of attaboy, you know? So, yeah, if you're listening to this and you, <laughs> you, I mean, if it sounds good and runs smooth and you like what's going on, just know that it's me and Cody doing it all ourselves yeah. and 
figuring it all out on the fly. So we do the best we can, and we we hope and we think we're bringing a quality product. But we're going up, and yeah, eventually we need we got to figure out how we're gonna. Yeah, yeah we hope you guys get can support us. Get some, some funding point. on this. So fun. anyway, cheap plug. Yeah, trying to straight up trying no. to get some. That's how you do it. I like, I like that. Just slide that in there. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're let's move off that and. Before we get, I got weird news for us today. Let's do it. So, uh, but before that, you, we, I told you to watch a trailer just real quick. Yes. Throw it out there. Yes. Yes. If yes. you watch, if you watch the, uh, the Zach Galifianakis does a like a comedy fake parody interview between two ferns. It's hysterical. It's great. And they're coming out with a movie, a Netflix movie based around that entire idea. And just I just released the trailer today, right? Yes, it just released today. It was hilarious. Chuck had me watch it, and I was... <laughs> Dude, it... Oh, my gosh, it's so good. There's so many celebrities. And it's Zach Galifianakis, so... I mean, come on. Yeah, and just, just a quick rundown of some of the people that's going to be in ah, this. Unbelievable. Is, uh, so, Zach Galifianakis, Will Ferrell, Matthew McConaughey, Benedict Cumberbatch, Peter Dinklage, <laughs> Chrissy Teigen... David Letterman, Tiffany Haddish, Paul Rudd, Rashida Jones, John Legend. Oh, my God. Brie Larson, John Hamm, uh, Keanu Reeves, Chance the Rapper, Tessa Thompson. Just a ton of people, and they're going to be, like, playing themselves. <laughs> so it, it's like... Go watch the trailer. Just watch the trailer to get a full <laughs> idea. It's Between Two Ferns, the movie. Did you mention Will Ferrell? Yeah, okay. definitely mentioned Will Ferrell. Man. Because I, I think it started on that... Um, what. Comedy or Die or whatever. What's that website where they do a bunch of crazy videos? I haven't laugh, seen that. Laugh or Die. I don't know. Anyway, okay. it's, a, it's a Will Ferrell comedy website, huh. and they do a lot of videos and parodies, but that's okay. where it came from. It's going out on Netflix um, September Hilarious. 20th, I believe. Yeah, September 20th. So uh, so anyway, yeah, something to check out that's coming up that uh, we were rolling in here when we were watching it. Uh, okay, so weird news. I want to start... So, we, me and Cody have, are supportive of the Space Force, and I think we have our first instance Whoa. where the Space Force Uh-oh. may be needed, Uh-oh. and that's because the for the first time in history, <laughs> we might have our first space crime. Really? Yeah. Really? Now, now, if I told you we have our first space crime, what would you think? Like, what what's going through your mind? Oh, man. Oh, uh- <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's the caption first. on the headline. What the headline says: the uh, the world's first space crime may have occurred on the International Space Station last year. Huh. Okay. Um. I have a lot of questions because who <laughs> who uh, determines what a crime is in space? Well, I mean, so it's the Space Force. Well, that's what I'm are saying. there laws like, that, that? Well, that's what. Are like, there established laws in the Space Force? Uncharted territory. That's why. That's why we need. I the have space a lot Force. of questions. Okay, well here we <laughs> won't. So How do you determine here, it's a crime? Here, well, the crime occurred on the space station. Okay. And what happened is, are there laws? Uh, are there, there are things that you can't I, do. I don't. Well, it's kind of weird. So here's what happened. It, it, this right. is where it gets complicated. Come on, tell me. All right, there's this. There's this. There's this chick on the space station. She's an astronaut, obviously. She was on the. Uh, she was on the space station for six months, and she has an ex spouse. Okay. Um, and they're they're a lesbian couple. So her okay. wife was on Earth. Okay. And while they were separated, Uh-oh. astronaut girl was checking the bank accounts and finances of uh-huh. her ex-spouse on Earth. From space. From space. She used Whoa. the International Space Station computer to do it. Legit. And the ex-spouse turned her into uh, the NASA authorities. And now the NASA's Office of the Inspector General is investigating what this fraud. I don't know. It's I don't know if it's fraud or it, or what. She but was just looking at the account, right? That's what she says. But it's not like cause, she's because it's, it's not like she's uh I don't know it gets, pulling out it gets, cash and it gets, having it sent to space. <laughs> yeah, no, it gets weird. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> We're having some money wired to space. That's, that's yeah. So funny. No, I don't know. So, but saying it, so she. 
access her financials and bank yeah, accounts yeah. without permission. Gotcha. But it happened. She still in, had the password. But it happened in space. Got in. That's the kicker. That's impressive. That is impressive. So, anyways, checking we're getting, your we're bank account there. from space. That is impressive. Yeah, we're uh, we're getting there, dude. It's it's getting weird. Whoa, it is getting weird. And now she's back on Earth. She's huh. back on Earth. And now they're going through this legal battle through NASA. Because she I committed guess. a crime in space. So it, here's where it gets... That's crazy. Um, I'm going to read this. That's weird news, for sure. The founding nations of the I- International Space Station planned for such a contingency, setting a legal framework that gives each nation jurisdiction over their respective parts of the station. In other words, an alleged crime committed by a U.S. astronaut using a NASA computer would be prosecuted by the relevant, by the relevant U.S. authorities back on Earth. Hmm. So, so that's kind of like you're a government your job. Own. You're not supposed to do certain things using government. I guess so. Uh, I don't know. Equipment uh, type thing. You I, know, you're familiar with that. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. Not I, allowed to use certain things in certain areas. It I, kind of falls into that. I guess. You know? I, I don't know. That seems overly complicated. Compl- com- on top of everything, I can't talk either. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm done. Overly complicated? Is that what yeah, you're shooting yeah. for? Yeah. Well, because well, once you, I mean, that's a complicated crime anyway, I guess. If you that's, just. That's a weird crime. Access your ex spouse's bank account that you have passwords for, yeah. but you're not together anymore. And then yeah. they get mad about and it. And the so ex didn't change you. the password. Like, that's and your then, fault. And then you put it on top of everything. It happened in space. Yeah. Sounds so, like she's just bitter. Gets weird. She's bitter because she's in space. That's no, no that's, is. yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Bitter space girl. Um, yeah. So, and here's the other word news kind of ties into sports. LeBron does LeBron things. And I don't want to spend more, any more time on this. But anyway, he has this Instagram thing that was pretty popular. It's kind of yeah. funny. It actually goes around Taco Tuesday. This is real dumb. This knucklehead has filed a trademark against, not against, He's trying to trademark Taco Tuesday. <laughs> That's real dumb. Is what Taco Tuesday has been around is, for a while. Is what, um, and actually, someone already has the trademark. It's or been around for a minute. Yeah, but anyway, he 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 filed it because he wants to use talk. He wants to trademark Taco Tuesday for advertising and marketing services, podcasting services, Mm-mm. and online entertainment services. Mm-mm. So uh, anyway, he's trying to. Trademark Taco Tuesday for entertainment. Sorry, I like LeBron, but that's real dumb. Well, you know, it's just another reason why. That's stupid. I feel the way I do about LeBron. You so can't he's do trying that. to take Taco Tuesday from us. Can't do Dude, that. Taco Tuesday, bro. Been forever. Like, come on. Get out of here. You cannot do that. Get out of here with that shit. You got enough going on. Don't anyway, be trying to take Taco Tuesday. So, yeah, don't let don't let this happen. That's crazy. Anyway, so weird news. That's weird news. That, that's for weird sure. news. So anyway, let's let's. Good job, Chuck. Let, let's go. Well done. Let's go into. Well done. I'm over it today. <laughs> uh, let's go into sports. We're going to do a, a lot of NFL talk real quick, and then let's close it out because it is late. And I'm sorry, I just snuggled in the mic. That's all right. That's the least of our worries tonight. This this Whiskey's has gone fl- <laughs> off the rails, and it's not alcohol related. <sighs> um, sorry. I just... Okay. So here's what we're going to do on NFL. There's a couple NFL news notes, and then. We're going to just run through like our predictions, not detail. Just we picked who we think the winners are mm-hmm. and who we think the Super Bowl will be, and we'll just talk about it and just run through it real quick. And then we, me and Cody, are sitting up like a pick 'em style yeah. contest for the season, so we'll break that down. So anyway, before we go any further, one of our listeners asked us to shout this oh. out. Oh, uh, so on September twenty ninth. The Rugby World Cup starts. Oh, my homie. Yeah. I know who this came from. And uh, and USA's in, in... So we have a USA rugby team. They are in the ro- Rugby World Cup. Right and on. they play on September 29th against England. So kicking, nice. off, kicking off the world, Rugby World Cup, uh, USA versus England on September 29th. Go on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I think they're using the hashtag 
RWC 2019. So if you right on, if you want to look into rugby or check out some videos, it's pretty gnarly. Rugby and, is uh, underrated for sure. Uh, highly underrated. So shout out to the USA rugby team headed off to the ro- rugby world cup. So right on. Good luck to them. USA. Heck yeah, USA. dude. I'm down for rooting USA. So, all right, with that, nice. let's, let's get into uh, NFL talk. So right before we came up here, uh, contract got signed, not by Zeke. Don't get excited, Cody. <laughs> it's coming uh, Jared, tomorrow. Jared Goff signed a contract with the Rams, an extension, a four-year, $130 million contract. That's about $33.5 million a year. Have hundred, mercy. 110 guaranteed. So mm. the most guaranteed ever. So, again, get next, it, golf. next quarterback up gets the most money. Dax time's coming. Just Mercy. Don't get pissed about it. It's just the way it is. That is a lot um, of money. And also over the weekend, we got a couple trades. Jadavion Clowney got moved from Houston to Seattle. Um, and then also Houston f- traded for Tunsil and Kenny Stills from Miami. And mm-hmm. they sent – Two first rounders and a second round pick. So, got some player movement right here before the season. I picked starts. up Kenny Stills late, late in my draft this week. That's not, he was a he was a good pick for the Dolphins anyway, and he's probably going to be the second or third receiver. I, yeah, season, I so. got told it was a good pickup. It was it Especially was like after the trade last pick, fifteenth round. I snagged him. He was still on the board. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab Kenny Stills, and nice. I did. Good job. <laughs> yeah, um, and he was one of my like late-round targets for Miami anyway, but yeah. he'll probably do a little better in Houston. Um, and then also, you already hinted a couple times, Zeke Watch. Mm-hmm. This comes out on Friday. I, by what they're talking about, I assume everything's going to be locked down. He's going to be good to go against yeah. the Giants week one this week. We'll weekend. all know by Friday. Uh, it's Tuesday night. They're pretty much saying there's a press conference scheduled. It's pretty much done. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're just waiting to see the details. So hopefully, by the time this airs, It'll be done. We're looking forward to the Giants About this time. week. All right. That's all I got for that. So let's go ahead and do our picks. So all we did was pick division winners, who we think is going to get the wild card, mm-hmm. and uh, then just pick the Super Bowl. We're not going to go into detail. Let's just talk it out. You, so let's I go. pulled the NFL.com picks mm-hmm. by their analysts and everything. Do you want to – we'll just go through the I pulled AFC, for NFC. I pulled from a different source, but changed it up, you know, per my – Thoughts. Yeah, well, this is just a compare against. Okay. Like, uh, uh, okay, I got you. I, I have my own. Yeah, okay, okay. I you have you. your own, and I, got I have you. NFL.com's picks. Got you, got you. So let's just run through the AFC first. Okay. Divisions, uh, so in the East, I got the Pats. Same here. Yep, and that's what NFL.com had. Okay. Oh, sorry. Man, I started. What do you got? I started off terrible. You about to say, <laughs> thank you, because you know I did not pick the Pats. I was, I was reading the NFL.com. There's We're no, same across the board, huh? There's no way in hell I'm picking the Pats. <laughs> I wouldn't pick the Pats, uh, even if they were the favorite. But, I solely picked them because I think they're actually going to win it. Okay, and that's fine. Um, I am actually going to roll with the Jets, just because I, nice. I, uh, that's just my bitterness and hatred towards the Patriots. I like I'm not, it. Even if I thought they were going to win, I'm not going to pick them to win. I like it. But I think, I think. This might be a year where they're at least tested. They may not fall, but they're yeah. going to be tested. Oh more yeah, for sure. Than usual. So, all right, Pats for NFL.com. Pats for Cody. Jets mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Um, AFC. What is this? North. North. So that's the. I got the Browns. <laughs> Same here, bro. And uh, NFL.com has the Browns. So Let's go Browns. Browns are are favorites, but I think it's actually close with the Steelers and Ravens. They're it all going to be bunched up in there. Um, okay, so we got the. What was NFL's pick? Uh, the Browns. Browns was it really? The yep. Dang. Um, okay. And I think ESPN actually picked the Steelers. So okay. Uh, when I looked at theirs, the I pulled mine from CBS. They picked Steelers. Okay. And then uh, and then the AFC South. Mm-hmm. I got. I actually so NFL.com picked the Texans. Mm, really? Who'd you pick? I picked Colts. Well, okay. See, underdog. Ew, ouch. I know. We I know. Down. I, I know. Ouch. I'm pulling. I, I'm pulling I, for him. Uh, I picked the Jaguars actually, so that nice. one might be a toss up too. South is a toss up um, for sure. So that'd be that'd be a fun division. And then I uh, think CBS picked Jags. Okay. As well. yep. Okay. Yeah. And NFL picked the uh, Texas. The the ESPN one had the Colts, but they did theirs before Andrew looked mm-hmm. went down. Yep. So theirs wasn't reliable anymore. Okay. But uh, you're going out there. Good for you. I know. You know. Hey. <laughs> and uh, and then the AFC West. I think everyone. Has the uh, Chiefs? Yep. So Duh. yeah, NFL. I got Chiefs. So My wild homie. wild card. The wild card picks for NFL.com were the uh, Chargers and the Steelers. Okay. 
So who do you got for your wild cards, AFC? Uh, don't have wild card cards on here. Um, okay, but I'll right. go Seahawks. That's a that's the NFC, but that's okay. Oh my bad. Be good. You don't have to, you uh, don't have to go out there like that. <laughs> I got. The, I picked the uh, I picked the Steelers to be a wild card team, okay. yeah, and yeah, yeah. I actually went on a limb here and went with the Raiders to get the other wild oh, card okay, spot. Okay, so, okay, I like that. I like so that. Uh, that's what that's what I got, and then let's bounce over to NFC. <clears throat> Uh, wait, hold on. Who do you have coming out of the like? Who's AFC like side going to Super Bowl? I got the Chiefs. AFC yeah. going to the Super Bowl playoffs. Yeah, yeah. Chiefs. Okay, I got and the Chiefs. NFL. dot com got the Chiefs. And who then, else? Uh, and then, so now we're going to bounce. Who over. do you have like AFC playoff going to the Super Bowl? The Chiefs. Chiefs. Well, I mean, those are Chiefs the... v what though? Oh. Before they go to the Super Bowl. Like, oh, jeez. What's that um, matchup? I wouldn't Did even, you go that far? No, I didn't. Okay. I just went straight to Super Bowl. I, didn't I go went that Pats far. Chiefs. Pats Chiefs. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, you gonna move on? To the no, NFC? actually, I'll go ahead and say it. I'll, okay. I'll, ooh, I don't know. Chiefs and I want to say Chiefs and Browns, but maybe Chiefs and Jags. Okay. But uh, okay. NFC. Let's uh, let's go NFC East. Let's get the that one out of the way. You In, already know. We went boys. I went boys. <laughs> you know, I went boys. NF, NFL.com dot com went Eagles. Was all heart. Eagles. <laughs> That's um, why I didn't pick because I ain't going. What with about the, the NFC North? I, me, and the NFL. dot com <clears throat> got the Vikings. I got the Vikings too. Vikings, there you go. And in uh, NFC South, uh, Saints. Saints, bro. Saints. And in the uh, NFC West, Rams. Rams. Okay. And wild? Did you do any wild cards for the? I uh, did not. Okay, so the well, NFL. dot com already said Seahawks. Yeah, NFL. dot com has uh, the Cowboys and the Falcons as the wild cards. Okay. And I have the Eagles and the Seahawks okay. as the uh, wild card. Eagles is a good. I mean, if I had to pick a wild card, I guess I'd go the Eagles and Seahawks. Okay. And then who do you have at NFC making it to the Super Bowl? Okay. So I got Saints v Rams to go to the Super Bowl. Yes. And then who do, you have, who do you have winning that? Super Bowl, I have Saints versus Chiefs. Okay. That's what NFL.com had. No shit. And they had, uh, who do you have winning? Dang. Chiefs. I think they had geez. my homies. I wrote Saints. Did you? But so in a, no, no, no. Uh, they had Saints and Chiefs, but it was close. Really? Like, it was almost toss up. Man, Saints awesome. Chiefs. I I initially picked Chiefs versus Saints as well with the Chiefs winning, and I just couldn't. I couldn't talk myself out of it. I freaking did it again. What'd you do? I picked the Cowboys to go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> And didn't I do that last? I, last we year? both did. Yeah, we both did. Um, and then I uh, wanted to, but I felt like I was going to get I ripped like apart. I feel like their team's good. So if it's not the Cowboys, I think it'll be the Saints. Regardless, I think the Chiefs are winning the Super Bowl this year. Yeah. So uh, so anyway, that's kind Drew of our Bre- picks. Uh, MVP. What do you think? Drew Be- Brees is projected to per the source that I was looking at. NFL MVP. Dude, I'm I'm I would take Who a flyer go? on Baker. Baker. Okay. I would take a flyer on Baker. I like that. So I saw if the, if the I Browns, saw Breeze and I liked it, so I'm like, okay, Breeze. If, if if the Browns ball out, I think uh, Baker's going to be the guy. Okay, to I get like it. that too. Um, uh, anyway, so I have Chiefs winning it all anyway. Same here. All right, so That's we got funny. that. That's we'll, we'll keep track. We of that. didn't we'll even talk to each right. other. No, we sure didn't. <laughs> uh, we'll see uh, if any of that turns out. So here's what we're going to do for NFL. We know uh, we got a lot of sports talk, and we don't want to overload you with NFL news every week. Uh, of course, we're going to cover any of the big stuff. So what we're going to do to kind of just get our NFL news out there, we're going to do like a pick em style contest, I guess, between me and Cody. We're going to keep track of it all season, and we may come up with like a punishment or a loser has to do something. We'll figure that out as we go. But, I like um, where this is going. So here's here's the rules. You got to drink a whole bottle of Basil Hayden's. Oh, man. Let me, let me lose. <laughs> um, uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick four games each week. And we're gonna pick just straight winners, and then we'll get point one point for every right one, and that's pretty much it. We kept points, so four games. You cannot pick the same team twice okay. in a row. In so a you row. can pick like the Cowboys week one. Cannot pick them week two, but you could pick them again in week three. So just not in a row. So we're gonna do four picks, and then those are the ones we'll talk about. And uh, if any other big news happens, we'll do it that way. But. Make it a little fun, a little different. So uh, I like it. I let, like it. Let's do it. Let's pick. Make our picks <sighs> okay. for this week, week one of the NFL season. Okay. Who first? Me or you? You go first. Let me go first. Give me your f- all four. Yeah, all four. Okay. Bears 
over Packers. I don't have scores. I just have. No, we just pick them winners. Winning outright. Okay. Yep. Boys over Giants. Saints over Texans. Chiefs over Jags. Ooh, you took some tough matchups. <laughs> that Chiefs, that Chiefs Jags. I know, game man. Gonna I'm, that's gonna be a good. Uh, and the reason I picked that is because I'm gonna make sure I watch the daggum thing. There you if go. If I can. That's incentive to watch it. Because right? you got Sunday. Right? Do you get? Did you get Sunday ticket? I did not, man. You but need I to call am. And get that figured know, out because you just signed up. You should have got it. Oh, you know what? You know what? What? I might have it. I'm gonna check. I, and I think I might have got a sweet deal from DirecTV. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you told me about that. Anymore, but I don't want to get out <laughs> don't, there yet. Don't F it up, Chuck. I don't want to F it up, and I don't want to <laughs> jinx it, but we'll see. Um, okay, so my pick, So we did have, we both picked the Cowboys. Okay. Uh, I picked the Cowboys as Over one of Giants? My, yep. Okay. And then I also picked the, I picked the Browns this week. That's over okay. the Tennessee Titans. Okay. I went with the Chargers over the Colts. Okay. Cowboys, and then I picked the Raiders over Denver. Nice. I almost picked that game. So I got uh, Browns, Chargers, Cowboys, Raiders. Cody Mm -hmm. has Bears, Cowboys, Saints, and Chiefs. Nice. So that's our first matchup of the week. (laughs) You're going down. Those are our first ones. You're going uh, down. uh, Yeah, so we're going to keep track, and we'll talk shit and just keep it rolling (laughs) all season. So before we wrap it up, is there anything like in particular you're looking forward to this season, like something you're wanting to watch or see, or not necessarily cowboy related? Just in yeah, general. man. Just we've been talking about the Browns, probably overhyping them, but I think, I'm excited well, to see. Is. Yeah, I'm excited to see. I mean, look, Baker's got some weapons, so I'm excited to see see what happens there. Chiefs yeah. excite me. Saints excite me. Uh, Raiders. Just I'm, watch watching Hard Knocks got me excited, and Antonio Brown seeing him with a, a new quarterback, so that's going to be exciting. Um, no, I'm I'm with you. On yeah. the, I'm with you on the Browns, and then yeah. I always like seeing, especially in the NFL, seeing like superstars switch teams because yeah. it doesn't happen that often. Yeah. Happen that often, and so I'm looking forward to Antonio Brown for the mm-hmm. Raiders, and then. Le'Veon Bell with the Jets. Yes. I'm, a, I'm like a closet Jets fan. Like, if I have to pick, like, an AFC team, that's usually my team. Is, is that – is it because Brett Favre went to the Jets? No, it was actually before that. Really? It, yeah, it was actually no. before before that. Okay. And then, uh, uh, and then when they had Mark Sanchez and the butt fumble, and <laughs> yeah. I was all about those Jets teams. Like, I don't know. It's it's, it's weird. I have really don't have an explanation for why it is. So I, I got I got Bell in our league, our fantasy league, and then I got – or no, I got Bell this weekend in my other league, and then I got Antonio in our, our fantasy league. So I wanted one of I got them some incentive in there to watch, keep and, up. And didn't, didn't have anything. Really? So. Uh, but, yeah, so anyway, that's uh, – we're getting hyped for the NFL – Okay. And uh, we got fantasy football. This is my time of year. I won't be on cloud nine. Well, I won't. I won't say cloud nine all the time because I my moods do swing with Cowboys wins and losses, and uh, fantasy wins and losses. So um, we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, spoiler: We're Cowboys fans. If it's anything like last year, I'm gonna be depressed every week, and that's not because of the Cowboys. It's because of my fantasy football team. <laughs> uh, but. Maybe I did enough research this year. It won't turn out that way. But uh, anyway, that's our NFL picks. This is our. Our shit show of an episode. Hopefully it didn't turn out too bad. Uh, as always. We got this. Uh, if you're listening, review, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Find us on social media at Modern Dude Chat. You can find me at Modern Chuck. You can find me at Cody Murph, C-O-D-Y-M-U-R-F. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start talking some shit NFL season. You're going down, come, bro. Come, come at me. If y'all shit. out there, come at me. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm Give ready. me that Basil Haydens. You ain't touching that. <laughs> That Basil Turn, Hiddens was good. Let's turn that bottle up. You know what I'm saying? That was good. That's really right. tasty. Let's do so, it. All right. Yeah, that's it. We'll catch you next time. Peace.